Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dewey Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 17th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another long-awaited video from Morning Dew. Sorry, it has been three days since I've uploaded. Been super busy working on other things. Doing my best here, guys. I don't get paid for this nearly enough, so um, the time is just not allotted for this. Looking at our sun here, we have no sunspots to talk about. We do have a small disruption there on the northwest limb. You can see the heliosphere being affected. Last few images there. So it will be some earth facing activity, but nothing too serious to talk about on our beautiful, quiet sun. get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours most recently being this 5.6 sorry 5.4 in Shishijima Japan as well 5.5 in New Zealand L'Esperance 4.7 here Indonesia right around a Krakatoa volcano. Krakatau, however you want to say it. And then up into Alaska, 4.7, 4.1, moving straight across the Alaskan Peninsula to a 4.7, 2.5 there in Oklahoma, and as well a 2.9 in Texas. New Madrid going off a bit today. San Andreas Fault, minor earthquakes, Earthquake swarm continues the Dominican in our subduction zone. Yesterday, we had a 5.2 in South America, Calima, Chile, as well 5.2, Bristol Islands region, South Sandwich Islands. As well, as I had warned in my last video from three days ago, watch for uptick in seismicity throughout Europe. And sure enough, that happened. Yesterday, we had a 5.5 in Iran, followed by a 4.8 and 4.6. So it was very active across the Indian plate line and into Eurasia. This is the last 48 hours for earthquakes from around the world as of course I didn't upload for three days now so thank you so much for watching and thank you for your patience and your loyalty and support to this channel as I said I don't get paid for this so I don't have the time really I'm doing my best a lot going on in our world so largest earthquake last seven days was large earthquake in Russia we've had some pretty deep earthquakes Indian plate line so still stay aware and prepare Eurasia quiet zone into South America as well. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing here the latest disasters from around the world. And it's mostly flooding, storm alerts, and as well volcanoes. This disaster app is lit right up right now, especially across the United Kingdom, as we have some devastating flooding, flooding situations happening across the United Kingdom. London, Scotland, and as well, I have a friend and a subscriber in Nottingham, United Kingdom, and her local river burst its banks yesterday, and today it's even worse, as Tropical Storm Dennis has brought a wallop of very unique and rare weather to Europe. One tropical storm to talk about here. Gabakel. Tropical storm Gabakel and is not going to be affecting humanity. Just going to give a rundown. Latest volcano updates. The Tal volcano erupting again. Also showing here large low pressure system heading into Alaska. 
So we've got Seven Kaya, Era, Sange, Fuego, Asosan, Ibu, Popo, Karinchi. That's at least nine volcanoes this morning that are getting updates for eruptions and activity. Stay aware, prepared across the Alaskan Peninsula today. That large low pressure system coming in, uptick in seismicity will persist. Already seeing the force straight across the Alaskan Peninsula. Wanted to show you here the next six days for forecast, forecasted winds across the United Kingdom. As these storms are not done yet, they seem to be coming in one right after another. Jet stream locked on to the United Kingdom. So stay aware, prepare my friends and family in Europe. Just going to show here the next 10 day forecast for snow. Across the Northern Hemisphere, things have definitely ramped up when it comes to storms, the size of the storms, and as well the winds. Looking across Alberta, About 20 centimeters, 380 centimeters here falling north of Anchorage, Alaska. And look how far south the snow is falling in the Pacific Ocean. Huge high pressure polar vortex hanging over Russia right now. Straight down into China, bringing heavy snowfalls Turkey still and Iraq, Iran and as well, look here 280 centimeters falling in the next 10 days in Norway as well the United Kingdom will be receiving some snow later in the week as cold fronts move in let's get to the 5 day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta high pressure ridge has moved in cold temperatures are invading as we speak it is really cold outside right now and it is set to get even colder over the next 24 hours as that high pressure ridge runs straight across Canada bringing freezing temperatures as far south as Texas Watching a low pressure system here, Colorado low developing, heading across Ontario, bringing snow Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday into the Atlantic provinces. Convergence line heading straight up the southeastern United States, so watch for flooding conditions throughout there as well. Overlooking Europe, Tropical Storm Dennis heading straight to the, the North Pole now. But more low pressure systems to follow. As you can see, the rain just continues across the United Kingdom. Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by the flooding conditions in the United Kingdom right now. They've had just a devastating week of extreme weather and record-breaking winds across Russia. My last video, I was talking about the large low-pressure winter storm that is going to be heading across Russia. It is still trying to. Across Indonesia, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains. Later in the week, across northern Australia, we do have a tropical cyclone forming. Right there. It's going to be a lot of moisture wrapped up in that thing. It will be affecting the northwestern regions of Australia. And then watching here. Low pressure system. South Pacific. South America. Daily evaporation rains. Heavier amounts through Sao Paulo and into Buenos Aires. The next two days, they're going to have some extreme weather, possible hail, and damaging winds, heavy rains. 
across Africa, heavy rains continue across Madagascar, daily evaporation rains across the rest of the continent. I want to thank you all for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Again, I thank you all for your continued loyalty and support to this channel. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Welcome to Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. God bless humanity. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.